Summer is finally upon us, the warmer weather is here and it's starting to get slightly uncomfortable to be sat on a motorcycle, especially while you're wearing all of the appropriate clothing that you definitely should. Now, two of the things I tend to use a lot during the summer are my mesh motorcycle jacket and my riding shirt. And I tend to use, in all honesty, the riding shirt slightly more just because it is slightly less conspicuous, a little bit more subtle and it just looks like regular fashion wear. And trust me, if you get a really good one, you will use yours all of the time as well. Which is why we compiled five of our absolute favorite here at Urban Rider. Bear with me and I'll go through them now. All of these shirts are gonna do things in slightly different ways, but let's start with the Merlin Axe. And you already know, probably, the first compliment that I'm gonna pay this shirt, which is that it's fantastic value for money. But then it is Merlin after all. So this is $139.99. This is a CE Level A approved riding shirt. So it is safe, and it has level one armor in your arms. You also have a pocket for back protector, not obviously included on this one. I think one of the things that might polarize people with this shirt in particular will be the style or the colorways that you can get it in. So you can get it in the gray or black that you see here. You can get it in a cream and blue or a brown check if you prefer, but all of them for the time being at least that we stock are check in pattern. If we touch upon that safety, as I say, it is level A approved. It has a DuPont Kevlar linings. This actually has three different fabrics going on here. So you've got your outer, then you've got this DuPont Kevlar on the inside, which is where you'll get your abrasion resistance from. And then you've got a mesh comfort liner within that as well. So triple layer, slightly thicker probably because of that. Although I would say not too thick, not uncomfortable at all. And if you get a decent size, you'll still get a certain amount of airflow through. So it will still be comfortable. Important also that I mentioned the sizing. So on these ones, as with the rest of the Merlin range, actually, these are gonna be slightly on the larger side. I would say one size up from what you would tend to wear, or at least that's true of me. I generally wear a medium in most things, and the small for me is the perfect size with the Merlin. Feature-wise, we're gonna keep it simple, but then it is a riding shirt at the end of the day, so you want it to be as uncluttered as possible. But you've got two pockets on the outer, on your chest, you've got one on the inside as well, and then you've got a loop to attach it to a pair of trousers if you need at the bottom of your back. And then you've got YKK zips on your wrists and some snaps if you need some adjustability to make it slightly tighter, but it really is as simple as that. Again, fantastic value for money and definitely worth your attention. Next up, we have the Revit Tracer 2. This is also fantastic value for money, $179.99, and it's again, level A approved as a whole. Now, some of the differences over the likes of the Merlin are that this is slightly slimmer and slightly lighter weight. A lot of those differences are gonna be relating to the fabric that they've chosen. So they've actually gone for an 11 ounce Cordura denim with triple needle stitching. The keyword for me there is gonna be Cordura, which is where you're gonna get a lot of this abrasion resistance from. So like I say, it's level A approved. You also get level one armor in your arms, not included in the back, but of course it's got a pocket if you want to put that in there. The armor on this one is actually C-Smart armor. It is very thin, dare I say the thinnest that you're gonna see again within this range, uh, but still safe, crucially, at the end of the day. But it means that it's much less conspicuous from the outside. Simple for the features as well. You've got two pockets on the outer, you've got one pocket on the inside, a connector for your trousers if you need, and then these snaps actually have a rubber texture to them, so they're kind of to paint work. And at the very bottom, where it's closer to your tank, they're actually underneath that flap, which is a nice consideration. It's listed as a dark blue. I would say that it is so dark that it is very nearly black almost actually to my eye and that it's got a bit of a sheen or a shine as far as the texture to that fabric as well. So again, quite different to the other jackets that you're gonna see here today. And the fit on this one I would say is actually pretty regular, pretty true to size. So I am usually a medium, as I say, 38 inch chest just in case you're wondering, five foot 10 as well, so kind of an average build, I suppose. And I would generally wear a medium, the medium in this one fits me perfectly. But again, check our size guide on the website if you've got any concerns over that. Key features here are how lightweight it is. It's actually slim enough that you could feasibly fit it underneath other things in the winter if you choose, and the styling. If you like it, then you like it.
Next up, we have something from John Doe, and I'm a massive fan of John Doe. I will try and keep this as little like a fanboy statement as I possibly can, but I love this shirt. So this is the XTM Moto shirt. The reason I like this so much is that we're actually stepping up the safety slightly with this one. This has been tested to CE AA, so it's been tested to a slightly higher standard than the shirts you've seen previously or this far. And you can get lots of different styles of this. You don't like this color? Don't you worry, they have more than enough for you to choose from. I will not list all of them, but I will flash a few of them on the screen now so you can see. So it is safe, it is double A rated. A lot of that is gonna be because of the materials they've gone for. So you've got cotton on the outer, which is why it looks so much like a regular denim shirt. And then on the inside, you've got this Kevlar lining for your abrasion resistance and their Coolmax liner as well, which is body facing, so that will help keep you cool to a certain degree on a hot ride. It is slightly thicker, I think, in my opinion, than the Revit I showed you previously, but the fact that they've got that Coolmax technology on the inside will help keep it cool. And in addition to that, they've got a vent across your shoulders if you want to open that up, that's gonna increase airflow massively. You've got their XTM armor in your arms, that's level one, and then a pocket for a back protector if you want to put one in. And the rest of the features are nice and simple. So you've got two pockets on your chest. It's actually got two pockets around your waist on certain versions at least, and then two on the inside as well. I'd say for sizing, they come up slightly on the large side again, although I'd say generally for riding shirts, they're all slightly on the large side because there is less to include. So this one, I wear a small, very comfortably, and again, I'm a 38 inch chest and usually a medium fit. If you want to check them out on the website, these are coming in for 235 pounds. Another brand that do riding shirts really well are Resurgence, but then they have been doing it for some time, so they have somewhat perfected their formula. But we've got the Resurgence Ultra Riding Shirt here. You can see it in green. They do it in a black if you prefer, and it's a brilliant option. This is actually a single layered riding shirt in comparison to the multiple layers that we've seen so far. The fabric they've gone for is this PKEV Ultra. To feel it, it just feels slightly thicker and tougher than regular denim, but still nice and light and nice and comfortable. But the all important feature of it is that this jacket is triple A rated, which is currently as high as they test. So you can't get any higher with the riding shirts I've shown you so far as far as safety than you're getting here. You also get D3O armor included in the arms, that's their ghost armor, and you get level one armor in the back as well, which you don't get in the other shirts that I've shown you. It's got two pockets on the outside on your chest and then actually two on the inside as well, one very discreetly placed on the right hand side with a zip. All of that for 245 pounds and it looks good at the same time. So you really can't ask for much more than this shirt offers. All of that armor, the triple A rating and the style that you get there. As far as the fit goes, they are again slightly on the larger side. And then last but not least, we couldn't not mention Bellstaff. So we have the Bellstaff Mansion to my right. Very different for Bellstaff, although looking at the fabrics they've chosen, it does still instantly look recognizably as a Bellstaff. So this is coming at 325 pounds. That is slightly more expensive than the other shirts that I've shown you, but there is something qualitative about Bellstaff that you can't quite put your finger on. There's a really nice finish and style to these. The fabric they've chosen for the outer is nice and thin. It does feel quite tough though, and it's very different to the other shirts that I'll have shown you so far. You can get it in either black that you see here, which is a nice, clean, solid black, or a forest green if you prefer that colorway. It's a high to nasty poly cotton canvas, and I think that's why it does look recognizably like a bell stuff. And it is nice and thin, so on a hot day, this is gonna be really comfortable, and probably one of the lightest I've shown you in this lineup. You get level one armor included in your arms and the jacket as a whole is CE level A rated. It has been through that level of testing at least. And the reason I mention it like that is because actually I think probably would pass something higher. Knowing Bell staff, they do tend to submit their garments for single A testing. It doesn't mean that it wouldn't pass higher. It just means that that's what it's been tested towards. And of course the features are pretty simple. So you've got your two pockets on your chest, actually two around your waist as well that are very discreet and then one on the inside and you've got these lovely brass snaps 
all the way along it as well, which are a nice little accent to the rest of the look. Fit-wise, as with a lot of the other ones that I've shown you, this is slightly on the larger side. So I'll use the mannequin as a reference this time. If you don't believe me, maybe it is just that I am really small or smaller than I thought I was. So this is actually a medium on the mannequin and generally speaking, he would wear a large in most jackets. And again, for me, I wore a small in this, but medium would tend to be my size. So there you go, that's the list of our top five riding shirts for this year. I'm sure you have your own. Please drop any down below that you feel like we've missed. Leave your questions and comments down there as well. If you want to check sizing guides, do have a look at the links to our website for all of the riding shirts that I've shown you so far. And for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Urban Rider. Thank you.